Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Part 4. Um, in the last part we did, uh, Dry, well we got this homeworld, we also got the Dry Canyon, we got Cliff Town. So the next one we're gonna get is the, I think it's Ice Cavern. Yep. Yeah, we're getting Ice Cavern now, guys. So, Total Treasure, right there down and do a little loop-de-loop -loop. and your shoes are looking cool um so let's see some gems back here I actually haven't played Spyro in a while uh, I really hadn't done much with let's playing in a while because I got so busy but you know Thanksgiving break blah 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 it gives you a little bit of time to catch up. So, so far, this is probably the second recording I've gotten to do so far. I'm real happy. Ulrich! A word of caution, little one. Shut up. I don't care. I think, I think I've pretty much told every single dragon so far to shut up because I just... Ugh, besides, like, the first video. It just takes way too long, and they don't say anything important. Anything they do say is usually just a tip that I already know. If you guys ever struggled with this game, you could very easily just ask somebody, because it's really not that hard of a game. Well, that's my issue with it, is you really don't need external help to play Spyro 1. Maybe Spyro 2 or 3, well, probably especially 3. 3 is the more complicated one out of all of them. That's just because those damn eggs are fucking everywhere. The second one literally has probably less things to collect than this one, because that one is only like, that one only has orbs and, and gems. They literally, te technically there's the whole like talisman thing, but you kind of have to get them in order to progress. And if they're not something you search out, it's a very linear progression for that. Now we're going to see if I actually remember, which I think I do remember, how to get the extra lives. Which I, it always, at the very, you'll see what I mean, at the very end of this. Okay, this is a real easy way to get yourself killed. You gotta kind of headbutt these. Be careful though, you might end up literally just like, charging off the cliff, which is why. I think those are the only ones so far. Okay, let's see what... Toter. Spyro. Some big norks up ahead are wearing our Oh, I know what he's gonna say. He wants you to push him off the cliff. Yada yada yada. I just realized Yeah, we, we haven't missed any of the other ones. Actually wait, we did, because I think there were some light posts up here that I did not headbutt. Are there gems on top of them? There are not. But I did need to come back up here because of this. Oh, you gotta love PlayStation 1. Uh, I have to say, I always kind of get nervous when I play this a little bit. Just because it, it truly does, not so much in Spyro, but in, like, Crash Bandicoot, like... The depth perception was kind of screwy. What does Ander have to say? Thank you for. Re oh, shut up. Seriously, see, this is what I mean. They just. Thank you for releasing me. Like, can you just be, like, not talking? I don't know why. I guess they all had to say something. I guess every single developer in the crew was like, oh, I want to have one line in the game, so. They decided to make every single one say something useless. So, you can take him out. This dude is what they were talking about. Well, one of them. So you kind of hit him and then they... They kind of go plummeting to their death. Okay. In, in case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of going... I'm kind of backtracking here. This, this went back to that cave, but... I, I preferred to get the key first, because I feel like it's better that way. 
So now you go back here, up here, and we can get the locked box, and get our gems. Okay. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> for the fifth time in a row, I'm going to comment about how amazing the soundtrack is. But, not for long. Hey, die, you little bitch. He's wearing those, like, snowshoes. It's not even- it's ice cavern, though. There's no snow. Like, looks like your logic was just defeated. No point in wearing snowshoes if it's icy. They're not gonna do you shit. Okay. Here's where the next couple of these assholes are. Oh, you're gonna die too. Oh. So he's on the skis. But yeah. Oh no, what are you gonna do? He's a little bit farther up. Never mind. Okay. Now watch out. Because uh, this room is filled with um, killer grape soda. So you might die if you fall into its carbon dioxide rich grape flavoring. <clears throat> a word of a word to the wise, Spyro does not enjoy grape soda. So do not like do not buy him one. If you think you're acting nice, he's just gonna kick you in the ass. <clears throat> At least in this game, you know, because he can't swim. But, uh, in the later ones he can. I don't know how that works. Well, like, in the later ones you technically had to learn how to swim, but you had to learn how to swim underwater. Like, you could always, like, swim above water. Oh, dead. Uh, did I ever get these gems? No, I didn't. They seriously, I swear, they put these right by the cliffs to get you killed. Because they want to see if people will just try to hit them and then, like, kill themselves. It's very easy to do. Okay. Um, should be getting pretty close to the end. I can't remember if I missed some gems back there. Rescue... Ragnar probably doesn't say anything important. Blah blah blah. Uh, there we go. Bitch. You be dead. Oh. Okay, return home, Asher. Blah blah blah. I freed you, I know. I am the ultimate liberator. I'm like the Abraham Lincoln of dragons. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um. Is there another gem out here? Is there? Is there? Yeah, there is. Awesome. Have you noticed? There's just like these guys up there. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck them. But, uh, you can get them. I'm trying to think of where you gotta be at, though. Oh, yeah, you gotta go back to the beginning. So, uh, I'm actually gonna stop the recording and kind of time warp there, because, yeah. See you in just a bit. Okay, guys, does this look familiar? Because it should. This is the very beginning of the level. Yeah, believe it or not, this is how you're supposed to get them. You're supposed to just fly around, and BAM! That's how you get all these extra lives. Om um, nom 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 nom, delicioso. So, I figured it would take a lot less time, because that literally probably would have taken a whole extra minute of you just watching me backtrack to the beginning, so. That's why I kind of time warped instead. Um, I think the next one is the quote unquote boss of the world. All of these will be quote-unquote bosses. I don't think there's, like, a legitimate boss in this entire game. Because they're really not. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, Dr. Shemp. Well. Oh. Yep, this is another one of those let's perpetuate stereotypes levels. Not as much as the other ones where it was like me Mexican dudes in the. Oh, I miss. Did he run off the cliff? Yep. So you get the little uh, gems if they run off the cliff as well, because they're really not that intelligent. Okay. So you know, they're trying to take you out by like having these guys getting their asses slapped at you. Pretty much, though, as you'll see, they'll, like, they'll run off the cliff and then you'll get the gem. Just, like, over here. Yep. These really aren't that hard. Actually, they're probably some of the easiest in the entire... Uh, honestly, this level's pretty fucking easy, to be 100% honest, because there's really nothing about it that's really that tough. There's really no platforming in it that makes it that hard, either. Like, you should get this level very easily. Um, yes. You need to fly out here, because there's literally a single 25 gem. I realize they're being, like, douchebags, but what are you gonna do? Uh, and then the other thing, I think you can actually fly over there now. Let me see, I might be wrong. But yeah, guys, I plan on getting World 2 knocked out in this video. I'll get Dr. Shimp finished up. So, there's Dr. Shimp with his, like, witch doctor get up. And we kind of kill him her, and they should take care of this kind of like first section of the level. So now we get up, now we kind of get into the boss portion of the level. Now, all of these boss levels, quote unquote, are all kind of going to step on the platform. Ugh. Are all going to kind of follow this. this guy I know. Ugh. I've beaten this before. Come on already so this dude kind of acts like an idiot and like tries to hit you and then yeah as you know this the target audience of this game was children so you know it's like oh look at him he's got a hot ass oh, I get it I I got it yeah that doucher is like <laughs> He hit me, and he literally made a gun sign. He made a, like, gun sign at me, and went boom. What a douche. Just die, seriously. No one will miss you. Oh, my God. That's, that's rich. Now, I don't think they hit any gems. I just gotta be careful, because I feel like I always end up missing some gems in this area. Now, if we get to... Yeah, okay. Because I remember this is a 25 gem, so we're good. Yep. So then you just fly back, and we finish the level. Yay! 300 out of 300. We did it, guys. We took out Dr. Shemp. And that was a very short level, as it's intended to be. But, uh, <clears throat> the next thing up should be the flying test, I believe. I believe, which is right over here. And, yep, die. Entering night flight. Yep. I have not done this one in a while. These later flights are seriously probably going to take me quite a few tries, because I don't recall the actual pattern to them. This one looks like we're going to do loop-de-loops first, and if I... Do I... I'm just going to go ahead and... I think what I used to do as a kid is I would... No! Why would you land, Spyro? Fuck. God, trying to get Spyro to go up 
It's like when you watch those movies with like the just kill me, seriously. I screwed this up so badly. I would like to try again. <laughs> yeah, trying to get Spyro to go up is kinda like it's kinda like movies when you see them trying to stop the plane from crashing. You're like you're like holding the yoke all the way up and you're like, I'm not going up. how I kind of felt back back there. Okay. Like, like I said, the issue is he kind of like auto lands if you actually touch solid ground. So you don't want to do that. This one already seems a little bit simpler than the first one I did. So it's very, very straightforward. So I actually, I don't think I'll have much of an issue with this. So right after I finish the arcs, we just have the lighthouses left. Right? Yep. Yep. I always remembered these. Then we're supposed to turn. Hit this one. Turn again. Yep. Oh no. Are we gonna make it, guys? I don't know. There's literally one other one. Oh, we did it. And he literally flew into the lighthouse. I didn't think that was possible. Okay. I do not wish to try again. Because now I got all the gems. Yay! Now we're up to 3,000 gems. Um, oh, wait, this is always that awkward time when you're like, do I start up or... Ah, what the hell. Let's, uh, no, the balloonist is back here. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, why don't we? I'll knock out the home part of Magic Crafters. We'll end up going over a little bit. I know that for a fact. I can't believe how fast you found. Blah, blah, blah. Go to Magic Crafters. So again, we're revealed that Spyro is nothing more than a master of blue screening his backgrounds. And he's just switching the background on the computer. So now we're in Magic Crafters. This is like some quality computer shit. Now, first order of business, this fucker. Anyone who's ever... Get him! Damn it! He likes to do this. So, if you wish to retry, you kind of have to like back up, I think. And then he redoes it. So, we're gonna get him, and we did. Let me tell you, that is an annoying ass one. Now, the thing that kind of makes this world magical, in a sense, uh, he's gonna try to explain it. I don't really care. I don't need a milk. I, I don't, I don't need a welcoming committee. Now, you would think you would teach soldiers not to stand in a straight line, but, uh, You'll see real quick. Yeah! Oh, well, I actually kind of ruined it there. But, like, oh, yeah. Oh, you see what I mean. So these fuckers can kind of, like, manipulate land. And you can see how this is going to be a fun, fun theme of the next world. I actually like it, believe it or not. Pretty much what it's supposed to be is, oh, yeah, you can't just walk up to them. But if you back up, and then you go, like, motherfucker, then you usually can get them. Actually, that's how you pretty much get all these dudes. Okay, so the, our first level will be Alpine Ridge. Um, I actually, this is probably my second favorite homeworld, to be honest. Um, I think this could actually, I swear to God, I'm just running in circles, chasing tails. Okay, I'm not going to sing a cold play song. That's not okay on the internet. Unless you're usually female. God damn. We all know when songs get stuck in your head. Anyways, <clears throat> we missed something back here. Which I'm totally about to execute it completely wrong. You're supposed to stand here and no you're not. No you're not. I'm dead. I'm dead bitches. I fucked that up. Don't listen to me. Oh god. Well, these bitches don't matter, but I'm still gonna kill them because they piss me off because they think they can manipulate the properties of matter. 
no one is above the laws of physics. So... Yeah, he's like, ha 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 I'm so fucking funny. Not really. Xantor! When you see arrow. Yeah, I know. He's just... He's explaining supercharge, which is what this is. I always check behind portals, because I can never remember if they... Tend, sometimes they'll be dicks and they'll just put something back there. Okay, this is what you gotta do. Do I even have a key? No, I don't have a key, so... It was useless to go back here. <laughs> Boo. That makes me pissed off. Not really. I'm cool. So this is kind of like, Oh yeah, bitch! And then he's like, Oh yeah, no. Just kidding. Oh wow, you can actually destroy those. No. Boldar. And there, there are gems back there. I saw them. This is what I mean when I say they sometimes act like complete dicks and just hide them in really weird spots. And I executed something else wrong again because in order to get all the gems, oh yeah. That's just the introduction of those guys. You can kill him. But we'll be coming back here. If you haven't noticed, there's kind of been a, a plethora of, uh, of uh, thieves and the thieves. Wow, I can't believe I I just said thieves. Someone hit me now. Uh, yeah, there's an abundance of thieves, and the reason why is because uh, they uh, the whole the whole thing with this home world is it's like oh you got to get so many dragon eggs. No, I screwed it up again. Fuck you! I swear. These ass wipes. No! They're trying to fucking, like, Emperor Palpatine my ass. It's not gonna happen. Okay. So we got the key. We'll go back and get the gems in that little box. I think I got all the eggs in this. So I think the only eggs are... The one there and the one from before. But yes. Now we have this area. And that should get me up to, I don't know, 275? Well, I'm just gonna assume it's a 25 gem inside of that, uh, that armored box. Which is what we have to break open by using the supercharge. So bear with me. This video might be like two minutes or more longer. Nope, nope, I'm gonna get in on my first try. Wow, I didn't think so. Yeah! Yeah, guys, sweet. Well, anyways, we pretty much wiped out this home world, and next time we'll be doing Alpine Ridge. So until then, see you guys.